I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Dream Sim. Oof, that is a lot of words. I'm not sure if this is procedurally generated or not. Woo! Okay, so WSD mouse. I'm not sure if my controller works. I kind of doubt it. Uh, so this is a free, obviously, Dream Sim sort of game. Uh, it's on Steam Greenlight. Well, it's name your own price, rather. Not quite free, but there's a download link in the description, as always. There's a... Uh, let's shift to sprint. How this online? Um, how do I? Oh, there. Um, ooh, that is a fast camera. Okay, let's tone our mouse way down. Uh, that is still too sensitive. Holy cow! Um, uh, what a bed. It seems to take a while to generate itself. A bed just respawns you, I guess. You are fast, too. Wow. Um, <laughs> this is really cool. I, I I saw, like, one screenshot, and I knew, and the, like, basic concept, and I knew I had to play this. Um, it describes itself as a first-person virtual world for satisfying spatial curiosity. This, this is what I want VR for. This, like, weird, crazy shit. Though I'm a little scared about VR currently because there's, there's... A lot of exclusivity bullshit, and the one I want is the Vive, which turned out to be more expensive, and holy shit. Look at this! I mean, you're watching a video, so I mean, I'm gonna assume you're looking, but if you're just listening to the videos to, you know, hear my sexy voice, which is also an appropriate use of my videos, just, just look at this. I like it. Um, human music. I like it. This is human music for your eyes. That's what this... Uh, Woo! I've got ups like Jordan. Holy crap. Okay. I'm gonna regret this? Oh man. Oh man. Um. <laughs> I think I'd be barfing if this was real VR. Um. Yeah, um. Ugh, the mouse isn't locked in the thing. Oh, whatever. Um. Quick whining about VR. Let's. Let's go back to our bed. Uh, let's go back on the rails, I guess. I wasn't entirely clear if this is... Well, no, this ha this has to be designed, right? Like, there's, nah, uh, uh, there's no way this is procedurally generated. Oh! These stairs! Ah! Oh, wait. Oh, I'm still on stairs. These stairs. I want these stairs to be real. Um, I don't want these stairs collision physics to be real. Um, but other that. <laughs> this is so cool. Um, Woo! The creator of this game loves going, like, did Sonic make this game? Oh god. Wait, now that I can go fast, though, I guess I could just explore. Oh man, it's like Ethsar from um, Final Fantasy VIII. Oh man. Oh. Okay, I'm glad the run button is so fast now. I, I, was, I was thinking it was a little silly, but no. Since the world is so big, this is great. Um, actually, more walking sims really do need... Oh. We're supersonic racing now. Everybody's supersonic racing. Th this is the Matrix. This is what it's like to be in the Matrix. When once you don't see the code anymore, you see this, and it is it is worth losing your humanity and becoming, you know, a human battery because that's completely reasonable and totally not at all a waste of biological fuel. Anyway, by ask spend. Rome. Rome. We got some stuff out of that there. I kind of love the traversal mechanics now that I understand the scale of it. Like, I figured this was backdrop. I didn't think you would go, like, be able to go here. I didn't think you could climb that mountain. It's always a lie that you can climb that mountain. If a game developer ever tells you that you can climb that mountain, uh, you are being fed a 50 pound bag of shit, let me tell you. But, um, not this game. Not this random free game. Um, I'm not sure if this is the only dream. Let's, let's wake up. So the wake up button crashes the game. Uh, I, I'm a little confused though. Oh, by the way, you can press G to do a screenshot apparently. Oh man, I, I turned my mouse back up. I love this fire, quote unquote. The, the screenshots don't have color. It looks like possibly the same city. 
but um, the screenshots do not have color, so I don't know if there's a different dream I can access. Was that building always that color? Oh man, I... <laughs> These stairs do not work right. They work right if you run, but oh god. I hope nobody has a fear of heights. I'm not sure if... Oh, that's so neat. Um, I'm not sure video games would trigger your vertigo, but if so, well, it's probably already too late, I'm sorry. But, yeah. Wait, can I keep going up? No, it just stops there. Okay. Son, please play me some City Escape music here. Ah, oh, you don't get as much vertical movement from the jump as I thought you would. You don't you don't get the run speed until you're on the ground, I guess. Oh well. Um Yeah, this is definitely one of the areas in the screenshot. This this is what it looks like when you get a nail in your eye. Um it's well interesting. <laughs> uh let's look at other parts of the city that don't look like Oh my god. This is what happens when you get two nails in your eyes. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, ow, ow. Oh god, that color. Should probably issue a photosensitive seizure warning for that. Well, it's not really flashing, but I mean, holy shit. Uh, I don't know. I don't, what, what is this? This is like... It's like reality is coming apart. Which is exactly my aesthetic, to be quite honest. I was about I was about to complain about there only being one apparent dream but th no this is pretty sweet actually I'm just a little confused in terms of wh where stuff is and like where to go like I don't want to miss things and so it gives me a little bit of anxiety there is this I got some virtual cliffs the movement speed seems oh man you know how in Doom, like, side strafing is like super crazy speed up? It is the exact opposite in this. You just lose all of your speed the moment you try to move in more than one direction. I think it's because the super sprint speed is like only forward. So you just lose that super sprint speed, of course. Oh, man. Uh, this aesthetic. I want, I want my eye sockets to be filled with this at all times, honestly. I don't need to see anything but this. Um, it's obviously a walking sim, so not gonna be for everybody. Uh, probably a bunch of people have already like closed the video, or like, oh, this isn't a real video game. Um, you haven't even killed anyone, and it has been like ten minutes. And I, yes, Parker, I, I'm going to complain to Kotaku here that this is not a real video game. And I need to get it taken down from the video game place. <laughs> yeah, this is pay what you want. It's gonna, it's on Steam Greenlight. It got greenlit. It is, it was greenlit like, I think like months ago. Um, I, I don't know where it is. I don't know why it's not on Steam quite yet. Where is the Steam? Why aren't you getting the Steam right now? But uh, ooh, pretty. This is exactly what my, my eyes were made for this. My eyes were just made to enjoy the fractured polygons and neon colors just erupting into my eye holes. This, this is where I was meant to be. I can't find my way back to the city though. That's some, that's my one complaint is that it, it's a little hard to get around, but I guess you can go to the bed. Also wake up literally crap. I have issues with, I wonder if, does the time maybe? I don't I'll read up a little bit and if there's like more hmm. let's head let's head to that giant red square I was gonna see if there's like different like not biomes but you you know you know what I mean like sections that we haven't seen so we've seen city we've seen you know <coughs> pastel mesh hell which that's that's my favorite so far um, not sure if there's other you know, environments to slowly suck up their juices through my pupils.
We've got some alright sounds going on. Not as good as the visuals, but uh, it sets a nice mood. And like I was saying earlier, I would love nothing more for VR for me to just be able to like sit back just jo shove something like this in my eye sockets without any particular effort like of finding aim just have like a ton of this and just chill out in this screwed up neon hell this like i want to go to fwintwu i want to go here to f to flu i want to go and buy some flu you know sweaters and you know everyone will be impressed with my flu sweaters and, and then will everyone will be happy because of my sweaters and even this thing this art installation will be like damn that is a nice sweater tap tap you really you really your spikes just piercing through the fabric it, it's a really good look on your tap tap I, I appreciate that i value you as a friend oh we, we found the neon hell again i love this neon hell scape oh we've got i love these stairs this everything. I love the look of everything and I want more of it. Um, who's the developer of this? OXAM is the developer of this on itch.io. Um, <coughs> so there'll be a download link. Obviously you can, you know, enjoy shoving colors into your eye sockets for hours on end. Um, you can check out, I'm not sure if the developer has other games, but if they do and they put them on itch.io, you can find them there. Um, I've been meaning to do a video pimping out itch.io. I um, I guess I should say for a disclaimer, I do get uh, review copies of games from them. Uh, and they do have an affiliate program that I have not, you know, it doesn't actually pay out quite yet. But I mean, potentially at some point I could possibly earn money from them. But uh, currently nothing. Just disclosure there. But itch.io, I really love it. It is my favorite place to get indie games. Uh, it's like, it, it basically... I, it's lame to say this, but it's the indie of Steam, basically. Or not uh, the indie of Steam. It's the Steam of indie games, um, and not in all of those terrible ways that Valve is awful. But it's in all of those ways that you know Steam is convenient and gives you pretty much one-stop shopping. Um, there's a lot of games on Game Jolt too that you'll so you'll need sort of Game Jolt and Itch.io. But uh, I have a strong, strong preference for Itch.io. I'll make a video someday explaining why. But, um, yeah, just enjoy the neon, you know, seashells, the, the four seashells, no, five, the three seashells wasn't enough. Oh man, that, that hurts. Ahem. I wonder why everything, I appreciate the movement speed being this fast, but I wonder why the mouse speed was like insane. I have the D DPI toggle on my mouse. I had to put it all the way down and it is still too fast. Like this is like pixel hunting speed this is um tap tap is trying to you know get a sweet headshot mouse movement speed and it's like whoop 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 but yeah so this is dream sim um the dream on just yeah i get oh no it didn't crash okay so wait i just realized we're, we're sort of sleeping in our own dream I've done that before. I've been in a dream and woke up and did something, and then I woke up again. Uh, that that is not pleasant. I've also had to like check and see if I tweeted something because I dreamt that I tweeted something, and like I'm like, wait, did, did I? Is that was that a thing or? But yeah, it, it's confusing. Anyway, brain, don't don't do that. Do this. Give me this instead of you know boring realistic dreams actually i've been rambling for so long i'm sorry um but i actually tend to dream in video games i've heard that lots of older people that grew up with color without color or with monochrome tv you know they dream in black and white and i think like people's primary form of like entertainment or whatever must inform their dreams because like my dreams tend to be video games like where i am an actual character in them but I sort of realize that it is a video gamey world and, you know, video gamey things happen. It seems like people that grew up with TV must, you know, dream in sort of TV format. And I wonder if, like, people before that, you know, their dreams were even more different. That interests me a lot. Anyway, V... Uh, I almost saw Sonic, but it's definitely not Sonic. 
I guess I'll stop rambling. But I, I enjoy this in my eye sockets. I would like more of this. If the developer is watching, please make more of Neon Hell. And just cram it right into my, you know, cranium. Because that that is not all that I want. <laughs>